ever wonder what it would be like to be swallowed by a whale? Could you survive such an extraordinary encounter with one of the ocean's giants? What would happen inside the belly of a whale? How would it affect your body? Wondering about these questions? Stick around because what Globamind will provide you with all the answers. Ever thought about what it would be like to get up close and personal with a whale? Well, let's dive into the marvelous world of whale anatomy. Those majestic giants of the ocean are like living submarines gracefully gliding through the deep blue. But here's the catch. Their bodies aren't built to swallow big things, especially not humans. It's like trying to squeeze through a tiny doorway. Just imagine attempting to fit a basketball through a straw and it's a no-go. Why? Because a whale's throat is too small for us. It's a bit like nature's way of saying, sorry, humans, you're too big for this one. This amazing fact becomes our first line of defense against being swallowed by these ocean behemoths. So, you've somehow found yourself inside a whale. What's the next chapter in this wild, hypothetical adventure? Get ready for a fascinating journey through the digestive system of these incredible creatures. Whales have stomachs that pack a punchy filled with powerful acids and digestive enzymes. Now, these work wonders when it comes to breaking down the usual whale menu of fish and squid. But, and it's a big but, they're not equipped to handle large mammals like us. So, picture this, you're now on a roller coaster ride inside a whale's stomach, navigating through a dark tunnel of digestive challenges. It's like going through the twists and turns of an amusement park, but with stomach acids instead of loops and drops. We'll be your guides on this hypothetical journey, shedding light on the stomach acids, digestive enzymes, and the hurdles your body might face. So, you're trapped inside a whale. Not the ideal vacation, right, but fear not. Because nature is full of surprises, and some sea creatures are masters at surviving in extreme conditions. Let's talk survival strategies. Close your eyes and imagine your body finding air pockets inside the whale. It's like discovering hidden pockets of oxygen in an underwater cave. A breath of relief in a challenging situation, but that's not all. Picture a protective mucus layer forming around you. It's like having a shield in a dangerous place, safeguarding you from the harsh realities of a whale's stomach. We've covered the physical aspects, but now let's dive into the mental side of surviving inside a whale. Picture this, you're in the dark, surrounded by the rhythmic sounds of a whale's heartbeat. It's not just a physical challenge, it's a mental journey we're about to embark on. Imagine the isolation and darkness. It's like being in an underwater sensory deprivation tank, an experience that can mess with your mind. We're about to explore the potential psychological impact of such an extraordinary scenario. It's like setting sail into the uncharted waters of the human mind. How would you cope with being in the belly of a whale? What happens when you're cut off from the outside world, surrounded by darkness, with only the heartbeat of the whale as your companion? 